Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have big news to speak about inside of the SBC tab on FIFA 22. EA has extended Footy's SBCs even further. This is the, actually the second time they have extended the Ferland Mendy SBC specifically out for another 22 days, basically three weeks we have left to complete these cards. I think EA is actually listening to us and they realize that they have messed up in requiring all these different promo cards and not supplying them in preseason batch number one. Does that mean they will look to do so in batch number two? We'll talk about that today. Of course, we have to talk about the big showdown SBC that was dropped yesterday. Great Tellez, great Kunde card upgrades. Work rates on Kunde, a little bit of a question mark. They didn't do medium high. We'll talk about that. And we have another big player leaked to come as a transfer SBC. Huge player name here. Incredible FIFA card. So I want to take a look at that. And of course, brand new season today. So if you guys have been playing Division Rivals, new rewards will be out for that there should be some tradable supply with rivals rewards as there is every thursday and there's news about fifa 23 chemistry we're going to cover a lot in today's video so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and here's another version of me just for a quick message. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Guys, the end is near. And no, I'm not talking about FIFA 22. The end is near for code TFA being 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. There has never been a better time to get involved with products like the Lawnmower 4.0, the ear and nose hair trimmer, and everything else in the performance package. But for especially the end of this offer, Manscaped have upped the ante. Manscaped have released their biggest package yet with the Platinum Package. It includes everything like the Performance Package, but even more. You get the 2-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner, Body Wash Gel, and their brand new Aluminum-Free Deodorant as a part of this massive package. This is the craziest deal. $260 almost worth of product for $144. You save even 20% more, 64% off in total if you use code TFA at checkout and free shipping. So make sure you use code TFA at manscaped.com. Link in the description if you want to check out some more. Back to the video. Now let's talk about these SBCs that EA Sports extended. It's actually very interesting that they have extended these. They've been out for so long, especially the Ferlin Mendy card. A lot of us already have this done, but this is a huge W for the people that have not been able to find foot captains, foot fantasies, foot birthdays, or any of those cards on the market because now EA is giving you more time to potentially get those. And also, I think there's a silver lining and kind of a secondary message here that we can gather from this extension of all these SBCs, this makes me think that EA is going to give us foot captains, foot birthdays, foot fantasy in packs as a part of the batch two that will drop tomorrow on Friday. I think that's a huge part of the equation here because why would EA extend these SBCs if they weren't going to give people more options to get those cards and get that done? So a huge W from EA Sports, but also if they're going to do that, that would mean they're just going to be more special cards in general in this batch number three, which we're expecting to see tomorrow, or sorry, batch number two. And that could be a tremendous dub for just crafting all sorts of SBCs and opening packs on this game. One thing we'll be looking for today would be a loading screen. You're like, Nate, why would we look for a loading screen in September? Well, what we have seen for the past couple of promos is even during footies, they would show us a loading screen to tell us what kind of cards were going to be upcoming in that in packs batch right if they show cards in the loading screen it means they're coming in packs so today if they hint a conte or you know how they show like some of the stats or you know they hinted the uh, ronaldo and ginola for the first day of the preseason batch number one if they hint at a messy card today or if they hint at a ronaldo or ginola again or a conte cards i think that there would be reason for ea to put a lot of great special cards back in packs. Think about it like the last week of footies. And I really hope that EA just go there, right? Because for the last three weeks that these SBCs are available, I really hope that whatever batch two is tomorrow is like just as good as footies batch three because 200 special cards in packs would be phenomenal. And it's basically these SBCs are timed out to expire 21 days from basically tomorrow on Friday, three weeks will take us to one week before the start of FIFA 23. So great timing on EA's part here. If they just release that batch two tomorrow with a ton of special cards in it, 200 cards in packs, that's 
what we would be looking for. At least that's what I kind of hope for. And so the question needs to be asked, should I save some packs, Nate? Well, here's the best thing I would say. If you're doing 85 times 10s every day, today might be the day where you save them because right preseason batch one is going away preseason batch two is coming tomorrow this might be the day where you save the 85 times 10 of course you can do 10 of them right so i would say it's not a bad idea to try to craft these today and save them or maybe at least save a couple i know that it's not very cost efficient and cost effective to try to do 10 of these and save them all but depending on how many coins you have or what fodder you have in the club it actually could be worth it. If they're going to add a bunch of extra special cards into packs, the value you're going to get from opening these during batch one and a potential batch two that is a lot better would be incredibly better payout. So that's, I think there's a lot of potential with that today. I think that's something to think about. I know it's like Nate saving packs in September. Really? It might be worth it. If you're trying to craft guys like R9, Pele, Hullet, or even any of these transfer SBCs, there could be some help if you save those cards and there could be better cards and packs for you to pack. So I think it's actually worth saving. Also, it has to be said, today on Thursday is a really big day for packs in general. Division Rivals rewards, of course, and Milestone rewards. If you've been playing Rivals, you'll get Milestone rewards today and packs. I think that is gonna supply the market as usual on a Thursday. You'll probably see some fodder prices dropping this morning. We'll talk about this here for a second and then move on to some of the leaks and other content. But, you know, 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, they're all so close together in price. What's the best investment here? I still think 83s are the best buy, best bang for your buck. Try to get them at least under 2,000 coins. That's a really good price range to get them at. They were all there earlier in the week and there's still 3,000 coins right now, which is kind of crazy to see them maintaining a 3,000 coin price range on 83s when you could buy an 86 for also 4,000 coins. So 1,000 coins more, 1,500 coins more, and you can get uh, a plus three rated card. Kind of crazy, but it's just the way that it is. People are still buying 83s. Their prices are still fluctuating like every single day. If you look at these graphs, they are moving up and down enough to make profit on. Look at Arthur, right? He went from 2.5K to 35 w so that's what i would say is watch the fodder prices today there's going to be supply from the rivals rewards and of course marquee matchups it's probably going to be a quiet thursday as it usually is one thing i will say about marquee matchups though is the showdown sbc that we have had each week for the past three weeks has been included in marquee matchups so we had piemonte calcio and roma last week with pogba and wijnaldum this week of course we had the showdown sbc yesterday between telez and Kunde, Sevilla, and Barcelona. I would expect those guys to be in marquee matchups as well. So just a little bit of a tip if you're trying to make some coins there. Probably will be very invested in as people have caught onto this trend, of course. But that's something to watch out for today for content on a Thursday. But like I said, probably going to be a pretty quiet day in general. Now, again, apart from a loading screen, marquee matchups, a loading screen, I'm not expecting too much else. If, as I said, on the loading screen, you do see some cards like a Conte, like a Messi, maybe you look to sell those cards to get out of them um, before they would drop further if they do go back into packs for a batch number two. That's one way you could be a little market savvy if you still care about your coins a little bit at this stage of the game. And I want to talk about these showdowns because I did Kunde straight away. Really, really great card. Really good in game. But just a, a little interesting on the work rate here. Technically, they kept his work rates the same as his base gold card. But his team of the season and his team of the year honorable mentions, which people loved earlier throughout this year, had medium high work rates, not high, high work rate. So some people were a little bit confused with that on this SBC yesterday. But again, another great value SBC set, another great value showdown set coming in at 150K for Kunde and oh, just over 100K for Teles. So W showdowns there for EA Sports, GG's once again for those. Now let's talk leaks because we have another pre-season transfer SBC leak and it's a big one. Paulo Dybala is added to come and this kind of sets up our trio for this weekend's content on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know that's how they've been doing these transfer SBCs, releasing them over the weekend in the past couple of weeks. Last weekend, of course, we had Renato Holland and Rudiger leaked, right? And Diego Carlos, we had four last week. Right now, we have three. We have Dybala, we have Mane, and we have Raheem Sterling. But this one, I don't, I don't know. Between Dybala and Mane, I feel like those... One of those two might be the SBC on Friday. We'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, but this is huge. I mean, look at the stats on this card. Potential stats, of course, not, not confirmed, but predicted. 
you look at a card that is this good, this guy's team of the season card, of course, you guys probably remember, Tots Dybala. He was like two and a half or three million coins for a solid couple weeks, even during team of the season. An incredible, incredible card in game. So, so, so good. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot on this card. I'm going to be completely honest and say it. I think this card will probably be 5-4 as well. If it is 5-5, five, five, that would be disgusting. But that's a really big SBC leak. If you did the Genie Wine Aldum, you're very happy because nice link there, of course, with that showdown card and the upgrade. But again, plenty of Serie A cards that have dropped during footies with Barella. And you have the Chiellini still. You've got Cordoba. You've got plenty of options to link this guy. That's a really, really big leak right there. So that's kind of everything that's going on in this game right now. I would not expect that today on Thursday. Again, as I said, it's probably going to be a pretty quiet day in general in terms of all of the content on this game. Yesterday, we had, of course, the showdown and, and that was literally it. No more, no silver star that they dropped yesterday. Uh, it was just kind of um, noticed that the SBCs were extended, which is a W, right? We still say it's a W. But then after that, it was, it was a pretty quiet day. I did all my 85 times 10. I did both those SBCs. Um, and, and now I just feel like we're in this waiting period. We're like, okay, we're looking for tomorrow, especially with our interest peaked about the kind of those, the extending of these SBCs and what that means for a batch two. We have some hope for tomorrow that there could be some new cards and packs that could bring some hype to this game and crafting on the menus once again. So that is a big W in my opinion. Now, also what I want to talk about in today's video is related to FIFA 23. Yes, FIFA 23 there was some new information tweeted out just a couple hours ago about the adjustments to the new chemistry system and also a deep dive on chemistry styles. And I'm not going to get into the weeds too far on that, but this is actually really nice for FIFA 23. And this is something that was talked about by a lot of people um, and understanding the whole chemistry system. It's still a bit difficult, right? Especially if you haven't spent a lot of time digging into the details of how this looks, but it is worth looking into this because this will help you understand how there's been a slight change for the better. Before, you needed to have three people from the same nation to get one chemistry point, right? For Mbappe to get one chemistry point, he would have needed three France cards and then he would have gotten one point and all those other cards would have gotten one point as well. Well, now they changed it to just two, which is a huge W and they also increased or decreased the two chemistry points threshold only needs four players from the same club instead of five from before. That is a W. So basically what it does is it opens up more squad building opportunities and potential to get all of your players on max chemistry points. But again, what is very important to know is, uh, and here's the example, right? You have two PSG French players in Ligue 1. So two Ligue 1 players, they're both French. So that counts for one chemistry point for being both French. And then both being from PSG, that counts for one chemistry point as well. So boom, Mbappe and Kimpembe would have two chemistry points on each of their cards. Let's say you add in another Ligue 1 player, boom. Especially if it's a if it's a French Ligue 1 player, that French Ligue 1 player would automatically be on two chemistry points, getting one from there and one from there. I think I did that math correct. But you, you add one more Ligue 1 player and you at least get these guys on three chemistry points. And then that other third person might only be on one. But again, there, there's some small things we have to tweak and figure out about this, um, but it's going to come to us really fast when the game starts. What it is, though, is it's a W that it takes less players from a nationality and one less player from a club to get to certain chemistry points. That is a dub. Now, also, they have this like huge spreadsheet here, and they actually uh, like have a link to a full size table. I feel like I'm back in the accounting world here with this Excel spreadsheet looking vibe thing here, but it tells you based on the chemistry style that you put on a card and how many uh, chemistry that player is on. If you give somebody a, let's say an engine chemistry style in FIFA 23, they get, if, if this are on, they're on three chemistry, by the way, they get plus four in all of these different stats. So, and then plus eight in a couple of different ones as well. So it's chemistry's styles are, are changing and you get different sized boosts for however many chemistry points you are on. But the biggest thing to note once again is that if you are on zero chemistry, players will still perform at their base attributes. So no more gone are the days are where you're getting docked for having, you know, a player on seven chemistry, they'll play less than what their stats show you. 
that is no longer a thing. So this is just a huge W because it's going to make squad building a little bit easier. We were starting to get disappointed because of how hard it was going to look to build squads. This has made things a little bit easier, especially with nations. And this actually gives a huge advantage and it makes icons a lot more valuable because if you put an icon player in your team, that one icon player counts for two players, right? That's how they kind of work with the new chemistry system. So let's say you put a French icon in your team, boom, all of a sudden, even though you just have one player in the team, that counts for two uh, towards two of your chemistry points, I guess you could say, uh, to get you that first chemistry point done, it counts for two of those slots, right? If that's the right word to use. So that's really big for icons as well, especially for those icons from, you know, maybe harder to link nations, you know, if you can get a second player from that nation, um, you know, that would help out a lot for that player being on the pitch. So that's really nice. And I think that does bring some hype into some the icons that was lacking before. So that's a tremendous W. So that's kind of the FIFA 23 information. Again, I do expect it to be a pretty quiet day today on Thursday. But like I said before, the hype is really for tomorrow. So watch out for a loading screen, craft those SBCs today, maybe even save your packs. And of course, enjoy one of the last couple days of these FIFA 23 rewards or enjoy, or maybe try to get them done. I guess you could say uh, the, the rewards that are here via the milestones tab um, with the kickstart to get that 50K pack. Also season progress today. I would be very curious to see if they do level 30 rewards, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the season today uh, because also we'll talk about this more tomorrow as well with the new season nine, that means extended weekend league. And that, you know, is pretty nice for those that are still grinding the game, playing some weekend league. And I think it's again, something that EA is testing for FIFA 23 and maybe are actually going to implement as well. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.